Hi, in this video we're gonna take a look at the Aware Element, which is an IoT device. We're gonna see what this device is, how it can benefit us, and most importantly, how it can help us to have some passive income. In the previous video, we talked about the IoT devices that use Wi-Fi to connect to the network. Link in the video description right below the like button. And this video will probably make much more sense if you have already watched that video. Now, before starting this video, I just need to quickly mention that this is not a sponsored video and I purchased my Aware Element with my own money. Also, this video is only for informational purposes. This is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor either. We're going to be talking a little bit about cryptocurrency and those things are highly volatile. In fact, everything we're going to be talking about in this video can change really fast. So before doing anything, make sure you do your own research to have the latest and most updated information available and maybe talk to a financial advisor first. Okay, now let's begin. The Aware Element, as you probably have guessed by now, uses Wi-Fi to connect to the network, 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. There is of course an app which is called Aware Home App, which I should use to do the basic setup, which includes connecting the Aware Element to the network. All of that is good, but what exactly is the device itself? The Aware Element is an indoor air quality monitor for homes. On the front there is an air intake vent which is where it can detect the quality of the air. And it can track five things, temperature, level of humidity, carbon dioxide, toxic chemicals, and PM2.5, which is tiny particles or droplets in the air. And I can see all those numbers in the Aware Home app as well. It will also combine all the air quality readings into one overall color-coded score. And as you can see, my score is 90 right now, which is green and good. In fact, every individual reading is green too except the humidity. And that's because I live in Phoenix, Arizona, which has an overall dry climate most of the time. Maybe it's about time I bought a humidifier, but to be honest, I'm personally not too excited about the temperature or humidity readings. Not that they're not important, because they are, but some simpler devices, for example, even my desk clock can show them too. So I'm actually more excited about the other three. So we know that when we take a breath, we pull air into our lungs that contains nitrogen and oxygen. And when we exhale, we breathe out mostly carbon dioxide. And too much carbon dioxide in a small room can impair my performance and decision making. So opening a window might be able to reduce that. Honestly, I don't really know why I made that ridiculous animation. I'm really sorry that you had to see that. Maybe I should open a window here more often. The toxic chemicals can be found in everyday materials. Actually, uh, let's do an experiment. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not saying we shouldn't use them because those things probably have saved so many lives at least during COVID. But now I know I should only use them indoors if I don't really have the option to wash my hands. Because before that experiment, I wasn't doing that. And in the case of PM2.5, if it is too high, then it can trigger some health issues, for example, asthma, hay fever, or other kind of allergies. And using a good and clean HVAC filter should be able to reduce that. So that's pretty much what this device is all about, an indoor air quality sensor that, as you saw, can help me to know more about the quality of the air in my house. And if it is necessary, then I can try to improve it, maybe by opening a window or using a better AC filter, and so on and so forth. But to be perfectly honest with you, that was not the main reason that I bought this sensor. The main reason was the fact that it can participate in the Planet Watch network, and that's actually how it can earn money. Planet Watch is a startup company in France and it is building a global air quality monitoring network consisting of many air quality sensors all around the world. 
Now, the sensors that are in each country, each place, are operated by the citizens of those places. For example, if I want, I can buy a sensor that is supported by the Planet Watch and then participate in this global network by sharing my sensor's data with them, and in return I will receive some daily rewards. Currently they have four types of sensors, indoor and outdoor, and the aware element is actually an indoor type 4 sensor. Now let's talk about the rewards. Planet Watch has issued a utility token called Planet on the Algorand blockchain, and the rewards would be paid daily and in planets. But the rewards for each sensor type is different. For example, for the aware element, which is a type 4 sensor, the maximum reward based on their white paper is 23.04 planets. And the price of one planet at the time of making this video is around 14 cents. But just keep in mind that this is going to be the maximum amount and it doesn't mean that I will always receive this much every day. Because when the number of sensors reaches the saturation point and that number for the type 4 is 10,162, then daily rewards per sensor will start to decrease. And as you can see right now, the number of type 4 sensors is more than 45,000, which means that we have already passed the saturation point. Although we passed the saturation point, lately I've been receiving full rewards every day. And that's because when the number of sensors was below the saturation point, some tokens from the daily budget were not used and they were saved in a recycle bin. And now we are using them. But unfortunately there is not much left there. As you can see at the time of making this video there is only about 11 million planets left in the type 4 recycle bin. And we are taking this much from it every day. So with this rate in less than 2 weeks this recycle bin will be zero. And obviously as a result we will no longer receive full daily rewards. Okay, so that was the reward situation for the type 4 sensors. Obviously, other types of sensors will be different, but you can find all of that information in the Planet Watch's white paper. I'll add that plus some other useful links in the video description in case you are interested. Now let's talk about a couple of points before we end the video. Number one, in order to be able to participate in the Planet Watch network, I will need to buy a license for my sensor. Currently, they have temporarily stopped selling type Type 4 licenses because they're trying to fix some back-end network issues and they're gonna resume once that is fixed. And that's why it is not showing the price right now but in case you're wondering I paid $84 for a 3-year Type 4 license. Number 2. The price of the aware element is right now $299 in the United States. But as you can see, unfortunately it is out of stock and there will be a 12-week delay based on their website. Alright, that was pretty much it and I hope you liked it. I might make a part 2 of this video and give you some updates and more details, but that will depend on how many people are actually gonna watch this video. So if you're interested to see the part 2 of this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments below what I should add in the part 2. Or if you're watching this video some years in the future, I'm really wondering what the price of one planet is now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you soon.